they taught us how to be niggas. Illiterate niggas. They didn't want you to know that this is your history book that's been passed down from generation to generation to generation. Before it was called the Bible, it was called the book of the law. The scripture said that Israelites are going to be scattered all around the world. Why do you think they made it illegal for them to read? Because the best way to erase somebody's mind when you steal them is to take away their ability to, to um, enrich themselves or to enlighten themselves. They taught us how to be niggas. Illiterate niggas. They didn't want you to know that this is your history book that's been passed down from generation to generation to generation. Before it was called the Bible, it was called the book of the law. Hold that, give me Maccabees 2 and 48. We fought many wars to keep these records. We fought many wars. Our ancestors fought many wars to keep the records of our ancestry to pass down from generation to generation. We just woke up in America and we niggas all of a sudden. Read what you got. The book of First Maccabees, chapter one, chapter two, and verse forty-eight. So they recovered the law out of the hand of the Gentiles. We had to fight. We had to fight wars to go back and get the law from the people that stole these books from us and burned them. We had to fight wars during the time of Maccabees, during the Grecian captivity, that they obliterated from the Bible. The 1611 King James got the real history. We fought wars to get the book of the law. We had our laws and our heritage and everything we were supposed to do to conduct ourselves in this planet. Read. And out of the hand of kings, neither suffered they, the sinner, to triumph. We won our laws back. We got our history back. And we started sharing it amongst ourselves again. All right, now. Knowing that you're an Israelite, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Knowing that you're an Israelite, do you understand that, my brother? That you are an Israelite according to the Bible? And the reason they don't want you to know that is because once you do come back to that true knowledge, you being the only one nation in this earth that has a God, he's going to come and topple their kingdom and set us back in our rightful place. That's right. Listen to this scripture. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? So knowing that you're an Israelite, there's a requirement that comes with that. And this is the question. What is that requirement? Do you have any idea what the requirement is for you to be an Israelite? I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. And that's not by design that you don't know. They erased your mind and taught you niggotry. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. The Bible said one of the requirements is for you to fear the Lord your God. You know how to fear God according to the Bible. Let's get that. Let's show my brother what it means to fear God. Because we read over words and a lot of times we don't understand that it actually means something else. This is why we read the Bible precept on precept like we instructed. This is what it means to fear God. The book of Psalms, chapter 1, uh, 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord. So this is about to explain what the fear of the Lord is. How you fear God. Read. Is the beginning of wisdom. Is the beginning of wisdom. Read. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Wisdom breaks down to keeping the commandments. Fear breaks down to keeping the commandments. So go back. Read it again. But to Deuteronomy chapter 10, 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. To keep the commandments. He's going to say it more times because the level of importance, he can't get it in our heads enough. Right. To fear the Lord is to keep the commandments. Read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all of his ways. Read. And to love him. And Brother, do you know what it means to love God according to the Bible?
So it's saying fear God and walk in all his ways and love him, right? These are the requirements of the Israelites. To love him. I'm going to show you what the Bible says love is. Read. The book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. It's about to explain what love is. Read. That we keep his commandments. You, you understand that? To love God, to fear God, is to keep the commandments. He said it twice so far. Go back. So to love God, he said you got to fear him, walk in all his ways, and love him, right? All of that goes back to keeping the commandments. Read. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now, Israel, what do if the Lord thy God require of thee, but to, but to for, fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, Read. and to serve the Lord thy God, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. So, the heart according to the Bible, read, get that, is the mind. So your mind should be stayed on keeping the laws of God. Now, some of the laws, drop that, give me a law for my brother. Um, the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So the Israelites were not supposed to make baldness on their head. So the Michael Jordan and, and, and Charles Barkley, the scripture said, my, my children are not supposed to do that. That was an Egyptian custom. But we learned that when we were in captivity under the Egyptians. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You understand what that just said? Read it again. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. We had no idea that shaving our beards off is a sin. Right. The Bible teaches us that a beard is a badge of manly dignity. Right. He made a separation between man and woman based off a of man being able to have a full-blown beard. This is all I can grow, but I'm proud as hell to wear it. The Bible said, what? Neither shall thy shave off the corner of thy beard. Did you know that was a law that the Israelites were supposed to keep forever? Our people didn't know that. A lot of our people don't know. Shaving your head, shaving your beard is a sin. Give me Deuteronomy 22.5. It's little things like this that keep us separated from the Most High. That we can lose our salvation over. Bring it out. That they refuse to teach us. Why would your enemy teach you how to beat them? Their job is to keep you oppressed and downtrodden and, and, and jacked up in the hood somewhere right. trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Right. Just risking going to the penitentiary that they built to make $10,500 a month off of you or however much they pay now for a bed per prisoner. Instead of giving that to you out here, if they really gave a damn about you, read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the Bible gives the men instruction just like the women. The Bible said that a woman ain't supposed to wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What can a sister put on that pertains to a man? Say it again. Pants. It was, it was instituted in Leviticus to make the sons of Aaron pants. Not the women. The women's supposed to wear what? Dresses. Read. Neither shall a man shall a man put on a woman's garment. Ain't supposed to be no big mama's house in Tyler Perry Teach and the mama and the grandmama off the clumps. Bring it out. That's against the law. That's right. But they put it in the movies. Why? Because we emulate what we see on the big screen, and that's all put in effect to keep you and us asleep. But we waking up now. We waking up now. You got a flyer? Call that number on the back and come get with us, bro. It's a lot more that you gotta learn. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.